I welcome you all of you on behalf of Vatana for this webinar series. So in this quarter, under the theme of school development and growth, this is the second webinar we are having. In today's webinar, we'll be focusing on the school growth blueprint, marketing strategies and branding. Before moving on to the webinar, I would uh, like to share all the participants will be receiving a participation certificate from Vartana. So I'll explain about the process of receiving the certificate at the end of the webinar. Please stay throughout that. And I will uh, encourage everyone to participate in the session so that we have a lot of learnings from today's session. Thank you, everyone. Let's move on to the session. The agenda of today is that we'll start with an introduction and we'll also look at the session objectives. Then we'll look at the definition and importance of marketing and branding. Then we'll see the strategies. Then we'll also look at Patana programs. Then we'll close the session with the feedback. So in introduction part, uh, we would like to know about our participants. So I will be launching a poll to understand the participant profile. Please select the relevant option and submit. Please select the option whether your school leader or coordinator, teacher or third party solution providers or others. Let me publish the result. So we have a good number of school leaders in today's session and we also have teachers and school coordinator. Once again, welcome you all. Today we have have very two important objective for today's session. One is to understand the importance of marketing and branding for a school and other to explore what are the different strategies we have with respect to marketing and branding. So before moving on to what is branding and marketing with the definition, I would like to understand from you, I'll be launching a poll. What are the activities you think fall under marketing? So I've given different option. You can select multiple options here. So for example, setting vision and mission statement, does it fall under marketing, uh, sharing flyers and plumpets, door-to-door -door campaign, and finally creating a compelling logo for your school. So what according to you falls under marketing? I'll wait for again one or two minutes for everyone to vote. Kindly vote so that we can have a good understanding about uh, like what, uh, what is the audience thinking about the marketing? Okay, um, I'll just publish the result here. So as you can see, many of you voted for setting vision and mission statement, and some of you voted for door to door campaigns and flyers, and very few have voted for compelling logo. So before discussing whether what is right answer and wrong answer, let's get deep dive into understanding what is marketing and what is branding. So let's see one by one. So basically, marketing means you are doing some kind of activities or some strategies to promote your school. That's the basic idea, right? Here, yeah, the only agenda is to promote your school through some activities or strategies. So by promoting what you're doing, you're engaging your community, students, parents. So all these things are happening so that they are getting attracted to the school. So it's basically a short-term goals. For example, the short-term goal can be increasing the admission or getting uh, kinder more school students in the kindergarten session. So all these things fall under marketing. Let's also look at an example. Re recently, Apple has launched this product, right? Apple iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. So what did they do for marketing? They have uh, like did some product launch events. There was some hype around the particular product and there were a lot of TVs and commercial covering about the product which is about to launch. So they have created some kind of hype so that everyone is excited to know what's going, what is they're going to launch, right? So this is called marketing. Whereas on the other hand, branding means you're creating an identity for the school, right? So for example, if, if I have a school called XYZ, my school stands the best with respect to the teacher quality or educational outcomes or spoken English, right? You're creating some kind of identity of your school that is called branding. So the identity can be about your school value, mission, culture, reputation, right? Basically, all these are long-term goals because creating an identity takes lots of effort. That's why it is called long-term goals. For example, let's take again Apple iPhone. They branding. So when you think of an Apple, what comes to your mind? Their logo comes to your mind, right? And their innovation strategy comes to your mind and customer loyalty. So that's how they have uh, like developed an identity for themselves. So that is called branding. Now, I guess everyone must have a, some kind of understanding or difference between what is marketing and branding. Now, let's also look at some real examples so that we can have a better understanding about 
marketing and branding okay so here i'm going to give you few words uh, and you have to tell about a product or brand that comes to your mind immediately when you hear these words right so please uh, keep your chat box and question and answer session ready so whenever i show a word just tell about a product or brand that comes to your mind yeah the first one is food delivery so when you hear about food delivery what comes which brand or which product comes to your brand, mind please uh, put it in your chat box or q and a box wherever is whichever is comfortable for you so when you hear about food uh, delivery there are a lot of uh, brands and products are there right which one comes to your mind let's use chat box and q and a i think many of you have posted swiggy zomato zomato okay okay anything else uh, yes swiggy zomato okay so many of you have said about uh, i think most of you said about, about zomato and few of you said about swiggy kfc okay somebody has said about kfc so i'm just pausing this particular session here i mean pretty particular name here so let's move on to the second one 5g network when you hear about 5g network which product or brand comes to your mind Five G network, Jio, Airtel, Jio, yes, Jio, Airtel. Anything else? Vodafone. So I guess most of you talked about Jio and uh, Airtel. I'll take that as an answer. The most of you have communicated that. I'll move to the third one. To book a cab or taxi, whenever you want to book a cab or a taxi, what brand or what product? Which one you use? Which one comes to your mind? thinking about ola yes many of you said about ola i think one or two of you said about uber okay i'm just moving on to the last one hygiene and safety whenever you think about hygiene and safety which brand comes to your mind hygiene and safety cleanliness hygiene safety that all okay waiting for some more answers that all okay okay so i'm considering uh, the final answer as answer as that all so let's come back and reflect our answers right for food delivery many of you said zomato 5g network many of you said geo whereas for cab ola was the most answered and hygiene and safety that all right so there are multiple we know there are multiple products when it comes to hygiene and safety cleanliness but the first one comes to your mind is that all right why is it because that's how they have set the brand identity so if you ask the most of the people uh, they don't consider that all as a separate product or brand right that all for them is the another name for disinfectant it's not a product or brand to them it's an another name for a disinfectant that's how the detol has positioned their brand in consumers mind that's how their marketing strategies are designed so first they are establishing this brand identity that means detol is equal to disinfectant uh, disinfectant which kills 99.9 percentage of the germs and with establishing that identity they are doing certain strategy so that we whenever we think of hygiene or safety detol comes to mind similarly for food delivery why zomato comes to your mind you when you think of food delivery that zomato logo red color all comes to your mind because again here zomato marketing strategies are like that if you look at very closely about zomato marketing strategies um say for they they cover each and every event even if it is irrelevant for them for example if any match is happening right cricket match be it ipl or world cup currently world cup is happening but zomato will use this opportunity as well to market their brand and product right they will say like sit and relax watch your score have some tea have some snacks so they are using each and every everything like right? each and every event which is happening around the around us as a leverage for them to market their brand and product another interesting fact is that zomato spends around 25 percentage of their revenue in marketing 
that's the importance they give for marketing and that's why whenever you think of food delivery zomato comes to your mind so it's not very necessary that we have to spend a lot of money on marketing but the idea here is that we have to establish brand identity which is a long term goal and also we have to ensure we are following certain marketing strategy so that we are achieving our goal so basically marketing and strategy plays a major role right that's what i have uh, tried to establish by giving certain example but let's closely look up on why marketing and branding is important for a school for these kind of products we can understand but why it is important for a school so marketing and branding basically helps to communicate your mission vision values apart from that why it is important is that the very first thing is that it helps you to attract students right so whenever you're marketing you will be focusing on what are the facilities you're providing in your school what are the programs available what are the extra curricular activities available right that will attract students and uh, that will uh, make them to be part of your school which is a very important for students and which is also important for the school second thing is that you will get a competitive advantage right so when you establish yourself uh, through marketing and branding you are setting yourself apart from your competitors saying that these are the extra things i do to ensure the quality education is given for all thirdly parent and student satisfaction so when there is a well defined branding and marketing is established parent and student get that confidence my, my child is studying in the best school right why is it that because we all tend to choose something which we are very very familiar with so through marketing and branding you will help the audience to get that familiarity yes this is something everyone is choosing so it's safe for you to choose also that's kind of a message you're passing through marketing and branding that will help them to be more confident in your school and they'll also help you to achieve the outcome next one is communication tool so through marketing you're clearly communicating what your school stands for what is the highest priority for you what are the value you uphold what is the strength of your school so all these things can be communicated through marketing and then most importantly teacher retention and recruitment to have a best school we need to retain quality staff right any staff be it like let be very honest right any teacher who is good who is professionally good wanted to work for the best institution because they get lot of professional development growth also so when you establish yourself very well as a school every teacher want to be part of it and recruiting a best teacher is is a easy process for any school then it helps you to showcase your achievements right be it like academic achievements or extra curricular achievement or with respect to any faculty it helps you to like showcase all your achievements and then it also helps you to maintain your reputation because that's what branding and marketing basically means so if you have a certain standard this school is best for spoken english or best with respect to extra curricular your marketing and branding make sure that that reputation is maintained throughout right and finally community engagement it's very very important to engage your community so basically why is that because the community through engaging your community they'll get a the sense of pride and loyalty that i belong this school belongs to me i have certain responsibility and i am very confident in sending my children to this school so that kind of thing will happen through marketing and branding so these are the some of the benefits marketing and branding basically has now let's also look into like what are the different strategy the school can follow we have talked about what is marketing what is branding and what are the why it's important right but let's also discuss what are the few strategies the school can use there are like multiple strategies there in the online but here we are recommending strategy that's going to be very very helpful for the school to achieve certain target very first strategy is visual branding we'll see all these thing in detail and then second one is digital marketing third one is traditional marketing fourth one is event marketing fifth is public relations and last one is partnership and collaboration so we'll look at one by one in detail right so what is visual branding 
basically it is an important component for establishing your brand identity as we discussed earlier so when i said about uh, like uh, like hygiene and safety immediately that all comes to your mind right when you think of that all what comes to your mind that all ka logo comes to your mind that green color logo where you have that cross or some symbol you have right the plus symbol that comes to your mind so that is the visual branding we are talking about here right it's a very key component and it helps or it conveys a very consistent and compelling image of an institution whenever somebody talks about your school or think about your school this is the picture they should get and how do you do it through logos and colors through uniform and dress code and visual materials for example uh, you can create a very memorable and unique logo which stands or which represent your school identity right and all the dress code can reflect the school value and whatever marketing materials you are designing make sure that you are having all this color code design elements which is unique to your school right be it the logo or the color code blue color green color whichever if you are following let that be very very consistent i'll also show a few examples here see this is a, a logo of a preschool academy so the academy name is little wisdom where i try to create it very colorful also like giving emphasis for little wisdom and sharing a message below education for all so this is about the logo right where there also do this visual branding by set like by providing school bag which has their logo so whenever somebody carries this uh, bag they know this particular child is studying in this particular academy so that's how they are doing this visual branding right apart from that they are also sharing lot of flyers which always have their school logo which is very very consistent right you can see in both the flyer there is school logo and there is phone number be it like the flyer which is completely with related to like some activity like mother earth day and something talking about the school all the flyers have certain consistent element so this will help the uh, parents or the community to for example to relate with the particular institution whenever they think about their school these are the few things which should pop in their mind that is called visual branding second one is digital branding so this is a very very important and effective marketing in the current era because everyone is digitally empowered right so basically it means you are promoting your particular school through all the digital platforms that's how you are catering to the large and diverse audience right you will able to like uh, have like targeted advertisement to reach the largest sector of audience so how to do digital marketing through school website or social media marketing content marketing email marketing i share an example for all of these in website you can talk about like who are all your faculty what is their achievement or what is the experience they have what is uh, some contact about your school all these things you can talk about in your website through social media marketing you can share about the achievements right be it in facebook twitter or instagram let's be consistent in sharing your achievement content marketing basically means sharing some content through like blogs or post or video to your audience basically parents and community it can be through any mode like through whatsapp right now every teacher is quite very confident in uh, like developing videos and all so you can engage your teachers to uh, like uh, come up with content it needs to not it necessarily not be very very critical or crucial content right it can be something related to general topic be it like mothers earth day like which we saw or something related to olympic or current situation like world cup or something related to education as well email marketing basically means we are regularly sharing the newsletter about the uh, school events or school news to all the stakeholders starting from students parents and alumni right so these are the uh, some of the ways you can do digital marketing i'll talk about uh, the examples as well so this is one of the uh, school website i'm going to show in detail this has won an uh, award for their innovative website building right it's an international school but we can learn a lot from them as well so i'll show uh, this particular tab i hope everyone can see this uh, particular tab so here if you see this is a uh, school called global indian international school which has like franchise across india right so if you look at the website it, uh, 
under about you have like their mission vision what is the milestone they have achieved and other like board of advisors and all under the curriculum they have two sets of curriculum so you can go in each to understand what these curriculum basically mean and they have segregated the school levels like pre primary what is their offering in pre primary what is their offering in primary what is their offering in secondary high school and under school life what are the activities they are doing for student right if you look at these activities see there are something called happiness index there is something called parent engagement which they have like in their website itself what are the measures they are taking for safety and security they have covered each and everything which comes to your mind right if i am a parent i want answer for uh, certain things i can come to their website and i have answer for everything here when it comes to admission they have a very detail like what is the process looks like what is that uh, form fees and if i if i can't visit the school for some reason i can have this online campus too or i can book a meeting like basically talk with the administration to understand the school in a better way right and also about scholarship resources so why i'm showing this as an example is that your website it should not be just about your mission vision uh, who are the faculties and then what are the activities you do it should have all the content so that any parent when they look upon they get answers from them right they feel very confident this particular school has put lot of effort in designing and website and they are offering lot of different things and very engaging things so that kind of gives a positive image for your school so this is one example which you can go back and also see second thing if you look at second thing is their facebook page so here it's if you can see uh, their facebook page uh, has lot of uh, post and videos related to the achievement which students are doing right that is there and celebration they have apart from that they are also having lot of post which connects to all the events happening around right that's a very very interesting marketing strategy they are following it's not just about always what is happening inside the school it's being part of what is happening around us as well see for example when india has landed uh, like in moon the it's a very successful moment or milestone for india right so here they are just uh, congratulating india and also doing marketing themselves here basically so if you look at um, their facebook page as well here i have there are like lot of examples but then if you look at closely there is so many things they are uh, achievements like what is they are doing what are the initiative they are taking but apart from that what captured my eye basically is that they have lot and lot of post which is beyond classroom beyond school if you take about this like this is a post which they are sharing about environment friendly right what difference we can make and they are consistent throughout and this is a post which is related to summer when there is summer break what you have to do and there is also post related to yoga as well so the idea here is that my facebook page not only talk about my student achievement or my faculty achievement but i am making sure that my parent and community are getting some kind of insight some kind of in, uh, information from my facebook page that's kind of responsibility they are holding which is again a very very interesting marketing strategy going back here so this is about marketing uh, digital marketing basically third thing is traditional marketing i'm pretty sure everyone must have uh, like used this traditional marketing once in a while as well so here what it uh, so what it means is that basically it's a offline mode right to uh, to reach a particular set of audience majorly a local community where you can do in person activities to showcase them what is your school offering some of them like you can share print materials you can do some outdoor advertising through some uh, like posters or something like that or you can have some information sessions like you can invite your community right and you can have some kind of sessions where that will be useful for them as well right and what it basically means that you are making sure your parents and uh, students or even the alumni go back and talk about your school so word of mouth is one of the important uh, strategy followed in traditional marketing right so basically your students and parents tell about how good your school is what are the different offerings you are having for example i'm just showing few examples here this is a sample print material 
which you can share it with your parents talking about what is the facility you have why they should choose us right very simple and small uh, information which you can share it's very very precise information whereas you can also like earlier i said right you can conduct a session with parents majorly focusing on like how to engage your children inside uh, in your home how can you be a part of their child learning what all you can do so what this will basically do is that the parents get that feel yes my school takes lot of initiatives for myself as well as, well as my children that's the message you are passing through this kind of marketing fourth one is even marketing uh, can you all see my screen i do see some inputs in the chat box saying that it's not visible can you all see my screen now so even marketing as a name itself mention is that the school will be uh, organizing or hosting lot of gathering to showcase the school facility right like you are inviting people to come to your school to showcase them these are the facilities i have these are the programs we have these are the staffs we have right so this will help uh, to build and strengthen the relationship within the community and other stakeholders so how can you do this event marketing you can conduct some educational fairs right basically you can partner with the institution around the higher education institution be it college or iti diploma whatever is in uh, like nearby to you you can collaborate with them and you can ask them to come and be part of your educational fairs where they can display right you are giving a chance to your community and students to get in that exposure like what are the different institution available what do they offer what kind of courses they are having and also you can conduct workshop right uh, for example if you are conducting workshop for parents or the community which can focus on around child psychology or parenting whatever expertise you have in your school or you can invite uh, like your community students be it from your school or other school and you can have some career counseling session you can invite someone or have a expertise in your school itself and you can conduct some career counseling as well or you can do some uh, mela marketing mela for kindergarten session i'll show an example as well for that where you are inviting uh, children in the age of 4 to 6 to be part of this activity encouraging them along with the parents so all these things you are doing to showcase what you are having in your school and finally the most important uh, thing is that engaging your alumni why we have to engage our alumni is that they are the one who has studied in your school who have experienced in your school and they have very good image and lot of gratitude towards the school right like us we have lot of gratitude to a school which we studied so they will be the best one who can talk about your school or who can advocate for your school so make sure you are engaging your alumni initially form a, a whatsapp group conduct some reunions or some uh, workshop from them and do some award function or mentorship program whatever works for your school but make sure you are consistently engaging your alumni so that they are feeling pride and they are passing the message to the community some of the examples here so if you look at this picture right here this school is conducting a small activity for the children along with the parents so here the parent are getting some kind of exposure about how my child is actually performing or doing an activity what he has to improve or she has to improve so when you conduct all these things this will build the confidence in the community like this school is offering something very different why don't i try for my child right or why don't i recommend for someone in my community and see this is an another picture where they are organizing educational phase targeting the higher education uh, students like you can collaborate and like you can like also is uh, give that exposure of what is happening and what can you choose what career is waiting for you so this is all about event marketing then comes public relation pr basically right so what is the pr basically means that it helps you to manage like uh, your institution image by building a positive relationship with the media right so this allows you or this allows the community to get a good image about the school okay this school is doing so much of things not just about education they are doing lot of things like let me also look about it right this is kind of the public relation uh, marketing basically means how do you do it like you can do it through press release media coverage crisis communication right basically you can collaborate with the nearby media be it like newspaper or some kind of uh, digital media which is uh, there present in your 
rural area or urban area, whichever area, right? You can collaborate with them and you can often do some press release or media coverage for the, the initiatives you have taken in your school or some school achievements or just to showcase about your faculty, right? Crisis communication is something very important that school should address, right? This will help you to avoid any kind of negative perception about the school. During challenging times, there is a lot of chance that uh, like there might be a lot of chance for negative image. So through crisis communication, you are telling the larger public that my school is taking all the initiatives or effort to address that particular challenge. For example, let's take an example of COVID, right? After COVID, uh, like you, your school is taking a lot of effort to making sure every child is safe and healthy. So you can put it that uh, in the media, right? What are the initiatives your school is taking so that everyone in the community knows okay this school is taking a lot of uh, initiatives around health and safety so i'm quite confident about the school so nobody is going to get any serious health issues when it comes to this school so that is the pr uh, that's a crisis combination we are talking about here see if you look at a few examples here the times of india have covered about two different schools who one is like serving the community by uh, serving the needy whereas the other one they're talking about the particular child who has like secured fifth position in coding right so you can make use of your local media it not necessarily need, need to be that like uh, largest or highest media but whatever is there in your local whatever reaches your community well choose that particular media platform and final one is partnership and collaboration right this is a very interesting as well as important strategy and unique strategy, right? It's basically you are developing some kind of relationship with organization, individuals around to enhance your school reputation, right? Here, both the parties should have common uh, like uh, outcomes they want to achieve. For example, improving the education quality or expanding the resources. I'll tell in detail about like how can you do it. You can actually partnership with some academic uh, like who are providing some kind of academic programs so that you are making sure the children in your school are getting some kind of extra program, be it coding or be it English classes, anything like that. When it comes to industry partnership, you are part make sure you are partnering with the nearby industry, be it IT company or be it like uh, healthcare companies or be it some engineering companies, which allows your student to go and visit, do some industrial visit, or you can also uh, help them to get internship opportunity. All these things make your school very unique because you are caring beyond classroom marks, grades, right? You are get, giving your children the real exposure of what is the outside market, I mean, job world looks like. Or you can be in part of this community service project where you can sponsor or you can share your resource so that uh, your community need projects are commonly achieved, be it some environment related project or some kind of cleanliness project where you're offering the resources like your teachers or students, or you're offering a place to uh, just inviting everyone and giving some kind of awareness. Finally, you can collaborate with the healthcare institution uh, where they where come and give some awareness about health. Also, you can support your student and staff by giving extra healthcare support, right? So I'll show you an examples here. Here, one of the school has partnered with the community to do this uh, like plant tree project, right? Here you're giving exposure to the child or children, why it's very important to care for environment, as well as you're playing an important and responsible role as a being part of the community. And secondly, here uh, we already talked about that particular preschool academy, right? Here they are marketing uh, their school by offering a free dental camp to both parents and kids, right? This is a very small initiative that particular preschool is uh, taken, which means that they are caring for the children as well as for the parents, right? So these are the indirect message uh, the community or the parents or the stakeholder used to get. So these are the, some of the strategies uh, which will help you to establish your brand that basically building that identity also help establish to help uh, to achieve your short term goals through marketing strategies right so before moving on to the next one 
since we have talked about lot of strategy i also want to understand from each and every one of you what are the some of the strategy which i mentioned here you have tried earlier right let me launch a poll so we talked about like around uh, six strategies starting from traditional digital collaboration what are some of the strategy which you have already tried in your school it's a multiple choice question good number of participants i would encourage everyone to please kindly vote that we know like the strategies you have already tried which are quite new for you i'm going to publish the result so if you see here most of the schools have all tried about traditional marketing and pr public relations right whereas only few two of them have tried about partnership and collaboration so i would encourage everyone to go back reflect and see what are the possibilities of doing this partnership and collaboration working on your visual branding and event marketing and digital marketing as well yeah coming back here since we talked lot about uh, strategy let's also try to understand there are certain things you have to consider it's not always about uh, some strategy right there are other factors as well so one is that the marketing strategy whichever you are choosing should align with your school mission and values through any marketing strategy it is very important that you should make that alignment with your school mission and values then one is that you have to understand your audience right say for example your parent wants a, a school which is completely focusing on spoken english right that's their need is but if you are marketing about like some uh, fantastic computer lab or fantastic science lab do you think your audience going to really like it no they may be happy that you have computer lab and integrated science lab but their need is that my school should have best spoken english program so understand what your audience need what your parents need give priority to that right market about that very well and other things you can even market but give priority to their need so that they uh, getting that okay this particular school is actually addressing my need so i need to join or enroll my child in this particular school that's the sense of confidence they should get and next one is involve your community your school and community is not two different things you are part of the community and the community is part of your school so make sure that you are like engaging them as much as you can so we have like event marketing we have partnership and collaboration so through these strategy make sure you conduct some webinars workshop do some in, uh, visit to the industry in the community basically involve people in your community so they feel responsible next is focus on parent and student satisfaction it's very very important because they are the one who is going to talk good about your school so make sure that whatever program whatever strategies you are trying your students and parent are satisfied second i mean the fifth one is like highlight educational quality and outcomes for any parent the first and important thing is that my children should get the best education quality education right so you now you need to talk about what is the quality education your school is giving and what is the outcome you have achieved right both thing both the things you should talk about what are the input you are giving what are the output you are receiving so make sure you talk about the quality as well as outcome next is stay informed on the educational trends right because as i earlier said this is in digital era everyone is having a phone in their hand and they know what's happening right so as a school leader it's very important that you should know what is the educational trend is happening around navigate your school marketing similar to that so that you are capturing or leveraging your audience accordingly next is engage your alumni as i earlier talked about your alumni are the best one to talk about your school because they have experienced lot about your school they have lot of gratitude to offer right so engage them like offer some do have some association reunion some workshops some mentorship program so you are constantly connected with your alumni or uh, something some program so that your alumni talk for you right talk for your school next is maintain online presence as a, as we are in the digital era make sure you are there in all the social media platform and consistently sharing some kind of updates it not necessarily we should talk about only achievement and initiative it can be something beyond that as well like we said right 
it can be like encouraging some participant or some child or congratulating the nation for doing some kind of initiative like chandrayaan or whoever is winning the world cup congratulating them so make sure you are doing some you are staying updated or sharing some updates in your all the social media platforms next is emphasis on health and well being so we have come past the difficult times of covid so everyone now knows health plays a major role right uh, apart from everything so your school should also uh, tell the community or tell the stockers stakeholders that yes i'm taking a lot of initiatives to ensure my stakeholders are uh, getting good health and well being finally feedback and assessment right it's very very important whatever strategy you implement continuously get the feedback either through survey or interview or just getting their opinions and assess how much the strategy is working for you because for one school one strategy might work for other another might work so it's important to assess and uh, like change make some changes in your marketing strategy so these are the few factors you have to consider going on next we we'll look at case study right we talked lot of theory right the strategy is why it is important what are the key factors you should consider but let's sit back and relax, uh, relax and reflect with the few case study we are going to see the very first case study is that there is a school called school abc right it has excellent infrastructure wonderful quality teachers are there but it's struggling to attract students and the enrollment has been like uh, like stagnant for the last past two years right now for this particular uh, school what are the school i mean what are the marketing strategy the school leader should follow to boost the admission right i'm going to launch a poll so i, I hope the question is clear right i'll launch a poll so the school has wonderful infrastructure quality teacher but their it uh, but their admission or the enrollment is stagnant now, what kind of marketing strategy it's a multiple choice question so you can select multiple option as well what the kind of marketing strategy they can use so that they are boosting their admission i would encourage everyone to like uh, share their thoughts through poll so, so that we have a clear understanding like how much we are able to grasp from the session we have visual marketing we have event branding and we have partnership and collaboration so if you see most of you said about uh, visual branding basically right so uh, the school has wonderful infrastructure and uh, they have quality teacher so many of you suggested visual uh, branding some of you suggested event branding i think that's an, one of the, one of the excellent strategy where you invite people host some uh, event or reunions for people to come and see what the facilities you have and you even can talk about what are the faculty's experience and what is they what do they have basically yeah wonderful let me go back and share another case study here so this is the next school school xyz who has like a like wonderful alumni right who are in a different fields achieve lot of things the school leader is keen on establishing effective engagement with them he want to engage with all the alumni so what are some of the approaches the school leader can explore to engage their alumni so here he has a wonderful alumni you want to engage with them what strategy he can uh, he can take right for example he can create a whatsapp group uh you can conduct program like career guidance or you can organize a yearly reunion this is a multiple choice question so if you are that school leader what strategy or what are the approach you will choose to engage your alumni effectively I'm going to publish the result so uh, here every most of you have voted for conduct a career program guidance program and some of you voted for whatsapp group and yearly reunion absolutely you can even follow all these three approaches to engage your alumni effectively going back so let's quickly uh, have a quick summary of what we did what we see in this entire session right one is that a well defined brand can enhance your school reputation it will attract students engage your community even you get a lot of support from your alumni right that is an important thing second thing is it's important to understand the requirements and need of your audience accordingly you have to choose your marketing strategy placing their need at the forefront third one is it's a very very important takeaway uh, um, takeaway 
basically marketing and branding it's an ongoing process it is not like that i'm going to market at the start of admission right for example month of april and then i'll close my marketing in the month of june so that i get uh, some amount of admission right it doesn't work like that marketing and branding as i said earlier branding is a establishing uh, the identity for your school and marketing are some achieving the short term goals so it's an ongoing process it should be continuous process you are doing your marketing and branding continuously and assessing all the strategy right it's an ongoing effort so all these things we saw in today's session so it's broadly about what is marketing and branding its importance different strategy and what are the key factors you have to consider now let's also look at uh, briefly about the academic solution which vartna has partnered with one is lead it's an integrated uh, innovative tech based learning solution where you'll get a world class curriculum and you'll also get an exposure about teaching methods books and materials so it also focuses on english and coding skills there is a second partner is a kayon which is also known as knowledge vehicle basically it's a device which uh, like integrates both computer as well as data projector helps a teacher to engage by creating stimulating learning experience inside the classroom so if you want to know about any of these or if you want to know about any of the other things which vartana is offering please write to hello at vartana.com or you can contact in above number